I'm referring to it as the cockroach, but I don't know how, how, how that's taking That's the on working yet. title. Hello and welcome back to the workshop. Um, it's time for another project. This time we're going to be building a motorhome, but not an ordinary motorhome. We're going to be building a pedal powered motorhome. This is going to be something we can camp in, live in, survive in. We're going to be going to the wilds of Scotland or somewhere like that, probably a bit closer. Um, and we're going to be living in this thing for as long as possible. Um, it's basically going to be an apocalypse machine, but pedaled by powered. Pe powered. The whole thing's going to be made out of rubbish and um, rubbish and old and like recycled stuff. So basically, we're going to make this from rubbish. Okay, we're here to uh, pick up some bike frames, hopefully. These guys said they've got loads of old bike frames that they can't do anything with. The basic design is just taking two bikes, welding them together, and then putting a cover over the top so we can cycle side by side in one solid machine and sleep in it. Will only be attached here? Yeah. We could come off here and then support the front weight there. Okay, I think if we um, start with the rolling chassis, please, Charlie. <laughs> if you can just start, if you can just make the um, apocalypse machine. Machine, thanks. Well, we're going to start joining the bikes, aren't we? Make the <laughs> what were you calling it? The rolling chassis sounds very technical. The Peugeot. I mean, it's quite heavy. Got the um, Apollo. This one's some sort of unknown frame. It's beautiful. So we're trying to find two similar frames to actually use as the main bike that we're going to cycle. Okay, the Viking. I mean, this one looks pro. Here's the notice of removal sign. So these bikes were chained to a railing and the council's cut them off because obviously they've been completely stripped. Hmm, so this is probably ball bearings inside this one. So we just need new ball bearings? Uh, you might not need new ones, you might just need Grease. greasing, yeah, cleaning up. Um... Charlie, you know about <laughs> bikes, don't you? Yep. <laughs> That's what you say. I like it, this seems like it's for the kind of sporty one of us, and this one is more the kind of Holiday. stylish street cruiser mm. with a baguette. We're going to use these two bikes. So... Okay, it's taking shape. Oh yeah, this one's quite a lot higher, isn't it? Just roughly clamped, you can see that that's going to work. Whoa. We're swapping over the pedals on the bottom bracket. We're going to have to place the old uh, back shaft in the frame. Up. Taking that one off. Nice. And we're on this one. Yes! Hey! Look at that! Which pedal should we put on? Try the red ones. The red would be the, nice, um, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's only one front speed. The um, da, 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 da. prototype sorted. Okay, we've kind of got our basic structure now, so um, tomorrow we're going to cut the bike frames and start welding it up. Look at that. Look at that! Actually works really well, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> let's get building. Let's do it, mate. Let's, let's get cracking. Joining the two bikes with all the leftover bits of bike frames. Well, we're nearly ready to take it for a spin, aren't we? The chassis is taking shape.
The wobble is terrifying, isn't it? It is. It is. That independent steering, they both wobble out at the same time, don't they? And they kind of, it's almost a bit self-correcting as well. Yeah, it's true. It's still really light. Nice, now we've got to fix the steering so that they're linked. Two bars, one here, one here, which are going to be linked. Okay, so here's the steering pole. So when we turn it, it's going to turn out like that. So basically it's going to turn with the steering and that's going to push that one in. What's that? You put it behind when it flips. Keep it the Linking the steering with a ruler. Stop, stop, stop. How does that feel? Feels good, man. Apart from the, the, the ruler's Flex. flexing. So there we go. This is the link steering. So we use the ruler at the moment. I really like this quick release um, spanner. What happens without the link steering is, as you go over a bump, both the front wheels tow out and you end up with them doing this. You get a sort of wobble on thing, uh, which is quite fun but terrifying. So with the link steering, one person is in control of the whole thing and you can happily cycle it just on your own. So where do you sleep? You'll sleep down here what, and so down that, here. So that, that thin little one bit. bunk, two bunks, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're building the rest of the cabin. So that'll be the back step there. Oh. We're building the home. It's going to be compact. We're going to be living outside a lot. We'll be cosy. We'll be cuddling, spooning in the... <laughs> we weld up this one first. It's getting quite large, isn't it, this train, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, we're welding up the floor. I'm a living in a bike. I'm a living in a rusty bike. Tell me about this contraption you've got in front of you, Harry. Oh, this. Yeah. Well, this is the pedal-powered motorhome. Um, it's still work in progress, but after three days of cutting up old bike frames, we actually have a serious-looking vehicle. Are you this taking is... this to Glastonbury? We, were, we could go to Glastonbury if we want. We could go to Burning Man. <laughs> uh, we'd probably just go to the wilderness because that's what this vehicle's all about. But actually, the whole thing is still really light, so you can happily just really easily lift it up. So it should mean it's easy to pedal. Okay, so then you can get in, jump in, on you go. It's gonna be bigger, so it's gonna have this canopy over the top here. Yeah. There'll be beds, you'll see we're gonna lie down. So one of us could be sleeping or making a cup of tea in the back whilst the other one's cycling along. Okay, and we're gonna make a drone takeoff pad for the emergency drone. So the drone can land on here, just as a test. So it's kind of complete, Charlie. It's done, mate. Let's go. Stage one is complete. The rolling chassis. Here it is. Wow. Ring the bell. Yes. Well, I mean, phase one is complete now. Um, it's been a horrific three days. Yeah. Um, hope I never see Charlie again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the moment, it just looks like a few old bikes welded together. But I think once we start building the cabin... And it look like a few old bikes with some for sale signs on it. It's going to look like a few old bikes with some other stuff dumped on it. <laughs> No, it's gonna look really good. Yeah, it already looks really good, I think. I think we should get a, a really big thing that goes over the bike, just in case when it rains, everything doesn't get really bad. Like, yeah, it's gonna have a roof. It's gonna have a roof on it and windows. Yeah, you 
you should have a car with like a like a bedroom. Oh uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's going to have a bedroom on it. Then, then there's a little swimming pool next to it. Yeah, I think the swimming pool is a strong theme, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think of it, Chris? I do. I like it. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, where's that big light, Charlie? It's a good bell. It's a smooth roller. It's a really smooth roller. Oh, I don't need to pedal now. Okay, we're off. Well, I mean, it's very solid. <laughs> oh, I'm wheel spinning up here. And we're off. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Landing pad. <laughs> I mean, it's wheel spinning down here. <laughs> okay, here we go, stunt man. <laughs> it's a good thing you got your helmet on, Thiago. He's on two wheels. A pro now. Oh, here we go. Change over. Okay. <laughs> we'll just be on the long cruising. Yeah. 